There's nothing in it, honey. On a bright arm through, all through. A little cottage in a one horse town. That's where I want to go and settle down. I'd be as happy as if I wore a crown. If I had you, come, let's settle down in some small country town away from all this noise and light. Far, far away from cabarets, we'll stray among les oiseaux and leave les simple, simple be the simple life. And from the time that rooster calls, I'll wear my overalls and you'll wear a simple Alice blue gown. So if you're strong for a shower of rice, we could build a paradise out of a one-horse town. Come, let's settle down in some small country town away from all this glare and light. Far, far away from cabarets we'll stray among the jays and live that quiet, simple life. And from the time that rooster calls, I'll wear my overalls and you'll wear a simple gingham gown. Get hot, Dickie. So if you're strong for a shower of rice, we could build a paradise out of Et maintenant, je jouais, je jouais la ukulele. This was invented by the Portuguese when they went to exploit Hawaii. And then it was taken up by the Hawaiians, poor de de devils who never saw the joke. And now it is something that I, I, I play to young girls when I'm trying to romance them. We like, are we doing halfway to heaven now? Here is a song from 1927 which became a jazz standard by Ukulele Ike. It's called Halfway to Heaven. Dickie! Every night at seven, if I'm not in heaven, then thank my lucky stars, I'm not very far. I can always wander to some one up yonder. Are. Just halfway to heaven, you'll find a cottage small. Halfway to heaven, beside a garden wall, where butterflies are blurred out in the sun. Behind a kitchen curtain, someone's cooking while she's looking out of that window to hear that old. I must tell you, 
This may seem very trivial, very old, but I am also a great jazz and blues fan and a great fan of Art Blakey. And I think that ragtime and jazz and boogie and rock and roll and everything, even yodeling, all connects up to form the great popular music of the world. Anyway, speaking of which, on this, from this sublime height, I want to play you now, we will play you an absurd song from 1930 from a film called Ooh, 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 I've Got My Eyes on You, Who, Who, Who. I removed my jacket. Right. Written by Bud Green, who was born in Russia as well. Right. But he's not a communist. Here we go. <laughs> You look so good, honey, you should With all you seem to own You're hard to make, but I'm hard to shake And honey, I bet you I'm gonna get you Ooh, 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 ooh I got my eyes on you, ooh, ooh, ooh I don't know why, but Shimmy G You seem to me just what the doctor ordered for me. Ooh la la! Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. I told my heart you'll do. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Right from the start, you had my okay. Can't get away. I got my eyes on you. Go, Nicky! Hey, Maintenant, thank you very much. I'd just like to quickly say that I used to be a rock and roll singer in 1965, and I used to sing a lot. Oh, I'm popping the mic. Okay, watch your peas. But I have forsaken rock and roll to go back to the true sound of ragtime. Hallelujah. Anyway, we'd like to play you now a song from 1923 that's become a jazz standard, and it's called Who's Sorry Now? But we'd like to play it for you in its original 1923 manner, which was a waltz and a song of revenge, revanche. And uh, Dick may well play some jazz. He, he may be encouraged to go jazzy, I'm not sure. But anyway, we will start off in waltz time. Who's sorry now? 1923, par uh, Ted Snyder, Harry Ruby, and Bert Kalmar. It hurt me somehow I thought there was nothing worthwhile The tables are turning And you're crying now And you know just how it feels Who's sorry now? Who's sorry now? Whose heart is aching for breaking each vow? Who's sad and blue? Who's crying too? Just like je pleure over vous Right to the end Come and ami I tried to warn you somehow You've had your way Now you must pay I'm glad that you're sorry now Who's 
Saturn blue Who's crying too Just like I cried over you Go Dickie, play that game Right down baby to the bitter And I give you one just like a friend You coo, you coo, you coo some way somehow You had your way Now you must pay I'm glad, I'm glad you're sorry now Yes sir Messi, Messi Boku. A Mantana. <laughs> Professor Richard Zimmerman, joue le temps du chiffon, le ragtime sur le piano. Richard Zimmerman will play some solos and then I shall return. Thank you. Thanks very much. You know, I should tell you that I believe this is quite a historic occasion. To my knowledge, this is the first time that American ragtime has uh, been heard here at the Montreux Festival. So it's, uh, it's very nice that after all these years, America's first original music, ragtime, is heard here. And this is what it sounded like. Here is a rag from 1901, Cincinnati, Ohio. It was called the Rag Picker's Rag. That's rag time. Thank you. And now here is probably the most popular rag in the world. This rag was written around 1915 by a fellow named Uday Bowman. He sold it for $50, very little money. It's all he made out of it. He went on to play in the cabarets and saloons in the southwest of America. Nobody heard anything more from him, but this rag became the biggest money-making piece of ragtime in history. Today, it's sort of a joke tune. Nobody takes it seriously, but it's really a pretty good piece of music. Nobody plays it like it was originally played back in the Midwest. So here, for $50, is Jude Bowman's famous 12th Street Rag.
Thank you. And now once again, Ian Whitcomb. Ian, here he is. Merci. Well done. Oh, I know, I mustn't pop my peas. Now, maintenant, je joue un chanson on the ukulele. Now, this is very American. It's a song from 1927, and it's called Masculine Women and Feminine Men. It's a sociological song. It's a true song, but it still applies today. Masculine women, feminine men, which is the rooster, which is the hen? It's hard to tell them apart today. Hey, hey. Trousers and panties, baggy and wide, nobody knows what's walking inside. Those masculine women and feminine men. Boys were boys and girls were girls when I was a tot. Now you don't know who is who or even what's what. Sister Susie's learning to shave, brother just loves his permanent wave. Those masculine women and feminine men are once you used to kiss your little girlfriend in the hall Now you'll find that you are kissing her brother Paul Oy vey, oy vey Masculine women, feminine men Which is the rooster, which is the hen Those masculine women and feminine men All those feminine men I have a special, okay, I have a very special quick song. I have a very special quick song for you all, since you like that. Here is a very, a saloon song. Well, ain't it grand to have a girl so big and fat that every time you kiss her, you don't know where you're at. You've got to take a piece of chalk in your hand and chalk a mark and chalk a mark to see where you began. One day, I was a hugging and a chalking and a begging her to be my bride when I saw another fellow with some chalk in his hand coming round the other side, around the corner, coming round the other side. Thank you. Right. My God, you understand all the words. Fantastic. I will now not speak in French. Because my French is bad, you understand all these words. Okay, now we have a nice, a nice ballad from 1930. Because I've sung you songs about the, the girl. Now here is a song of warning for the girl. The painted girl with the painted lips and the painted eyes. It's called Sincerity. A British song from 1930. This is supposed to be straight. fascinating way lacks sincerity everything you do in that graceful manner too lacks sincerity you have so many admirers they are so desirous boy how you love their stares but you're not on the level just a little devil selling your painted wares though you always dress with discretion and finesse it lacks sincerity believe me baby you're living in a world that can't resist a new sensational display it's the same delay but where will it get you after all when the blossom of youth is beyond recall you'll find out someday and that day is never far away ba -ba 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 -ba. Major seventh. You have so many admirers, they are so desirous. Boy, how you love their stares. But you're not on the level, just a little devil selling your painted wares. Though you always dress with discretion and finesse, it lacks sincerity. You're living in a world that can't resist a new sensational display. Make me cry, Nicky. But where will it get you after all when the blossom of you is beyond recall? You'll find out someday, and that day is never far away.
Thank you very much. And now, we have time for two quick numbers. This is, uh, I want to sing you a song in a British accent now, since I am Brit British. I'm going to be very upper class aristocratic, because that's what I am, and I'm not ashamed of it. I'm one of the few who are not ashamed of it. Actually, all British rock and rollers come from the upper class. In fact, they just pretend to be from the deep south. Anyway, here it is. And now, oh, 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 oh. anyway, so this is a number called You Don't Like It, No Not Much, meaning S-E-X. Here we go then, 1927. Honey, baby, you look so happy to me. And I'm wondering what the reason can be. Though you hide it somehow, I can understand now what the reason is it's so easy to see. When you hug me and when you squeeze me and when you tease me and such, you don't like it, no you don't, not much. When I tell you your gorgeous bristles are awfully thrilling to touch, you don't like it, no you don't, not much. When I stretch you out on my old chaise long, your face says, get it on. When you know I'm worth a million in stocks and bonds and such, you don't like it, no you don't, not much. <laughs> Such. You don't like it? No, you don't. Not much. When I tell you your gorgeous swell, gorgeous, you don't like it? No, you don't. Not much. <laughs> when I stretch you out on my old chaise long, your face says, get it on. When I tell you I'm worth a million in stocks and bonds and such, you don't like it? No, you don't. Not much. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you. And finally. And finally, thank you. Thank you very much. Finally, I'd like to thank you very much. Mon ami Dick Zimmerman. My, my name is Ian Whitcomb. And we'd like to end up with a song from 1919, a ragtime song written by Walter Donaldson called When the Bees Make Honey Down in Sunny Alabam. I just feel like telling the world I'm happy and gay. American accent. I just feel like telling you why I'm feeling that way. This is just the time of the year when bees start to buzz. And I've got a bee in my bonnet simply because of when the bees make honey down in sunny Alabama. That's when I said I'd be sending a telegram down to my honeysuckle home where my folks live all alone. They're like a pair of honeybees in a honeycomb. I'm gonna make a beeline straight for home, that's what I am. And I've a plan to muck about with my honey lamb some Sunday afternoon. If I don't get stung, there'll be a honeymoon when the bees make honey down in sunny, oh, you Alabama. Verse two, love like a I will be the busiest bee that you ever knew. Sipping honey all through the day, that's just what I'll do. When the bees are buzzing about near some rosemary, how I long to bumble about, just take it. So make honey down in sunny I had a, I had a, I had a bam That's when I said I'd be sending a telegram Down to my honeysuckle home Where my folks live all alone They're like a pair of honeybees Need a little honeycomb I'm gonna make a beeline straight for home That's what I am And I've a plan to muck about with my honey 
some Sunday afternoon. If I don't get stung, there'll be a honeymoon when the bees make honey down in sunny, oh, you Alabama. Messy. Dick Zimmerman. Ian Whitcomb, thank you. Ian Whitcomb and Dick Zimmerman. Listen, I, I, because you've been so good, I, I, I want to play you one little short. I want to play you a song, a song that I had a hit with. I'll play you 20 seconds of my hit just to show why I'm now playing ragtime. Come on now, honey. You know you really turned me on. Come on now, baby. That was You Turn Me On, which was in top 10 in 1965, which is, shows you what a terrible year it was. Anyway, we would like to play you a song now, finally, called Every Now and Then, 1930. This is the newest song that we play. Something's wrong with my sunny disposition. Tried to take a pill, but it made me ill, don't know what to do. Doctors say, you're the cause of my condition. Cause I'm getting worse, ready for the nurse. If you won't listen to me every now and then, when you go away, I want you back again. Every now and then, get so lonely too, just because of you every now and then. If you'd only spend time enough to telephone a lonely friend, then you wouldn't be just a memory as you are to me every now and then And when the bird is in the spring, start to chirp and sing doesn't mean a thing Because the song I want to sing is the cutest thing about a wedding ring It's got the cutest little rhyme All about a lot of wedding bells that chime When I make you mine, then you can't pretend that I'm just a friend every now and then Monsieur et bonsoir!